I'm here today with my glossy box and my scentful. My name's Fawn, I'm melting in the sun. This is my third video filmed in a row, <laughs> which I never do. I um, do lots of shopping and lots of unboxings and I make lots of friends. And uh, if you like that kind of thing, please give me a thumbs up, click subscribe and leave a comment. So here we go. I'm gonna start with Glossy Box. As I say, this is my third video in a row, which is just not, I don't do that normally. It's really difficult for me, but I'm so far behind. Glossy Box. Now, you know, Glossy Box beat Look Fantastic last month. Now, I've already done Look Fantastic for this month, so it's getting a standalone spot, although it does still have scent for, um, involved. And this was the better one of the two last month. So inside you have your leaflet, and it says Summer Skin Sorted, okay? And it's all beautifully wrapped. You know, it has a ribbon and pink tissue paper and all of that sort of thing. And then you open it up and straight away, I mean, it just, I think Glossy Box is better than Look Fantastic. I hate to say it, but I really do. So this Glossy Box is called Dreaming of Paradise. So let's see if the items in there are the sorts of things we take to paradise. So first up is something called We Sherry. Um, it is by The Beauty Crop. It's full size and it's worth £13. Um, it's a, for gorgeously kissable lips, look no further, a non-sticky moisture rich lip treatment will gloriously enhance your pout's natural colour. Mmm, enriched with a lip loving cherry oil blend. Ooh, I like the sound of that. Let's have a look, shall we? I always keep anything to do with moisturising the lips and because um, I don't, you know, it's getting thinner and more pathetic as I get older. So anything that might help. Mm. It's a bit childlike, the packaging, but then we sure it's going to be, isn't it? So let's just whip that out. Oh, it's got a funny sort of pinky coloured wand. It does indeed smell of cherries. Well, that's quite nice. Mm. It was me being a bit sniffy because I thought the packaging was a bit childlike, but that's actually really nice. So I am pleased with that. Next up is something that I defy anyone not to be pleased with, and it is a tube of Nip and Fab. This one is Nip and Fab Illuminate Vitamin C Scrub Fix. It's an exfoliant vitamin C. I think that's a great idea. So let's have a, a sneaky peek. Oh yes, it is sealed. It's properly sealed. Um, it's £12.95 if you want to buy it. I notice they even sell this in Sainsbury's now. £12.95. Energising and illuminating. This exfoliating scrub is infused with vitamin C, coffee seed extract and coconut oil to... Um, cleanse nourish and renew your skin these key ingredients also help with lines wrinkles and dark spots now as you know i don't use physical exfoliants on my face so again this is going to be a gift for somebody whether it goes in a giveaway or whether it goes to one of the kids i never know but i'm still happy to have it next up is a mitchell and peach english growers english leaf body oil mm. It doesn't have a lid. Oh, it smells. Oh, I like that. That's very. It does. It smells like herbs rather than um, essential oils, floral. It's got a herby smell. What does it say? It's worth £23. I would pay that all day long. I think that's nice. It contains almond oil and vitamin E. It's a body oil leaving skin feeling soft and scented, reminiscent of freshly cut meadow grass. No, this oil is, is fragranced with English leaf, a blend of soft citruses, coriander leaves, basil, mint, and floral oils from the Mitchell estate. It does not remind me of cut grass. It's way nicer. It reminds me of when you, you know, if you've got a herb garden and you've got any herbs, you know when you bruise them and the smell comes up off them? That is lovely. I am really quite excited. In fact, I'm going to put a bit on my arm. Woo! Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, indeed. I'm just rubbing it in. I love a good body oil, do you? my arm all moisturized up and can you see it glistening <laughs> i 
put a bit too much on that one arm. Ah, pleased with that. And I can believe that that would be £23 because it really does smell expensive. It smells like the sort of thing that you get in a, a very posh store. Next up is Cetraban Cream. SLS and Paraben Free Cetraban Cream for problematic dry, sensitive or eczema prone skin. And this is a good size. This is a deluxe mini, 30 gram worth 2 dollars Dreaming of super soft hydrated skin this summer, soothe and hydrate and repair dry skin with Cetraban Cream. Cream is ideal for those whose skin is in need of an extra moisture boost. Now I've heard good things about this. I generally don't get dry skin. I have oily skin as you can tell, but there are periods and there are family members. So um, I'm pleased to give that a whirl actually, rather than having to buy a big bottle because I think a big bottle is uh, a 50 ml size. So, you know, this is a great size to get a really good go of something. And then last but not least is a handbag size bottle of Batiste. Uh, this one is the Blush Flirty Floral and it is how big is that it's a 50 mil um which would be one pound 60 if you were to buy it in the shops we all know about batiste we all know about dry shampoo i have to say i have to be very careful with this stuff i can use it and i do very occasionally use it in an emergency when i just look dreadful and i've got to go out somewhere but I find it gives me an itchy scalp if I use too much or too often. It will extend my um, need to wash my hair literally by no more than sort of a few hours or, you know, it'll get me through to that shower that night or in the evening through to the shower in the morning, that kind of thing. But it's worth having, it's nice to have, and I'm happy. So, oh, and in there as well is one of these coffee bags to try. I've had these before. Um, as you know, I don't drink coffee, but I gave them to my daughter who does, and she said they were lovely. Yeah, there we go. Inside, you've got two of these coffee bags. So they're the same idea as a tea bag, but they are per cup. So, um, you know, a tea bag, you might get, well, I suppose you would probably only get one. Uh, person's tea out of one tea bag wouldn't you so I suppose it's about the same same idea and you've got a roast grade four and a roast grade six and then 50p off if you wanted to go ahead and buy the coffee bags from the supermarket we'll go backwards because the brain works better backwards <laughs> here's the Batiste there's the nip and fab there's the Cetraban the gorgeous body oil that for me that's a winner all day long and this gloss that i'm wearing or i don't know if they're calling it a gloss or a salve or a, a lip oil they're calling it very nice it does feel very nice and it's not sticky so there we go i'm really happy with glossy box once again for me glossy box is the winner i have done birch box in the past it was okay um, and obviously I still do look fantastic although I'm beginning to think I may give that one up and keep just glossy box because I just think it wipes the floor with the others I'm so hot guys I'm so hot are you hot where you are um, I think the whole of the UK is kind of roasting today isn't it and I didn't go out my sunburn has finally sort of healed up but um, I'm very wary of exposing myself in case I get more maybe the skin is sort of slightly more sensitive now is sort of the way that I'm thinking so um yeah I'm sweltering and of course I've been running around getting everything done for the kids as well so then we're moving on to my scentful now as you know I love scentful I always defend this one because the number of people that have said to me I don't know why you do that I do because I like perfume so that's you know it's one of those um little message this this time hello we hope you're enjoying your scentful subscription very cute and it comes in a little cardboard box and then you open it up whoops and you get a card inside and your two vials of perfume last month if you remember there was that jean paul gautier one i've been using it i'm almost out of it and i may actually stump up and buy a bottle of that one because i just like it so much 
this month it is Cartier Carrot and Emporio Armani In Love With You Freeze. Mm. Okay, so let's start with the Cartier. Yeah, Cartier Carat, but it's carrot like, you know, um, carrots in jewellery. So it says, oh, hang on, let me squirt some on. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Oh, no, that's quite nice. No, that's quite nice. I was a bit doubtful, but now I'm... Um, Okay, Cartier Carat is a sensual and modern floral eau de parfum for women who radiate happiness. <laughs> uh, Carat brings together the seven colours of a rainbow in a single pure white scent. The colours of a rainbow are represented with violet, iris, hyacinth, ylang lang, daffodil, honeysuckle and tulip. Reveal the diamonds that shine within you. And that smells lovely. <laughs> After taking the lid off and going... Hmm. actually that really does smell lovely and I can actually I feel like I can smell the daffodils in it anyway um it's top notes of bergamot and pear its heart is violet iris hyacinth ylang lang daffodil honeysuckle and tulip and the base is white musk and mimosa I really like that one that is really, really now I'm sprayed it further up my arm because of course I put some body oil on here didn't I with the, the leaf the leaf body oil and I didn't want it to mix so oh that really is it's lovely ladies that's one I would never have thought of trying never heard of really like and then the other one what did I say it was called Emporio Mani in love with you freeze freeze as in you know you freeze an ice cream right mm, okay Hmm. Oh, no, no, this one's not me. This one is definitely not me. Uh, Armani in Love With You Freeze is a fresh eau de parfum that captures the thrill of the most joyful love. Really? Uh, alluring, soft and delicate. I wouldn't call that soft and delicate. Soft and delicate, yet bursting with profound sensuality. In Love With You Freeze caresses you with fresh and addictive cherry, tender and delicate peony, alluring and warm patchouli and sensual and elegant white musk. No, I don't like that at all. I don't. It's a nice perfume. Don't get me wrong. It's not for me. Uh, this one has a top of cherry, mandarin and pear, a heart of peony and jasmine, sambac and a base of patchouli and white musk. And I think, as I've said before, patchouli might be an issue for me. So possibly that's what's... Yeah, no, 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 no. It's much too heavy, it's much too, it's almost artificial smelling. Whereas this one is lovely. I swear to God you can smell the flowers in this one. I honestly, you can smell the flowers in this one. You, you can totally pick them up. The honeysuckle, the daffodil, I love, but I really don't, really don't like that. In fact, so much so that I'm probably gonna go and wash my arm to get that off because it's got a very to me a very sort of chemical artificial but remember just because I don't like it you may love it and it may interact with your pheromones and your personal DNA smell and turn into something fabulous I've known perfumes that I thought were awful smelled them on other people and thought they were fabulous and vice versa I've had friends say oh, what is that you're wearing that's gorgeous and when I say what it is they'll go oh no that smells awful on me so it is a very individual thing but this one oh my goodness the flowers in that you feel like you could touch them love it and that one is Cartier Carrot so there we go I'm done I've done three <laughs> Oh, honestly, ladies, if you'd seen, I've knocked things over. I've just been groveling on the floor because during the glossy box, I dropped the body oil and it rolled under the sofa that I'm sitting on. <laughs> My husband came in the room, Nick came in the room and said, what are you doing? Because he knew I was doing a video and I was lying on the floor trying desperately to reach it. And now I feel all for lying on the floor. This is not the weather for lying on the floor and groping under sofas. <laughs> So thank God this is the last one, but it means I've got a couple in hand now to get me through the next few days with everyone coming back, 
seeing my daughter well seeing all of them really you know i've got a really busy two or three days and then things should settle down again a little bit um as you know my daughter's got her visa so uh she's staying here until wednesday then she's off to visit family in ireland uh his family and then she'll be back for a little bit and she is actually going to fly from the uk uh, from well yes the uk because he lives in ireland um so uh yeah I'm, I'm getting lots of things ready and trying to sort of just in case I don't feel very happy and I'm not up to filming, I've got this sunny day, you're well behind, get on girl. And now uh, I'm chuntering. So I'm gonna go and I hope you're having a lovely day wherever you are and whatever you're doing. Okay, bye guys.